Shalom. Let's start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well, and as always, peace and salutations to the old four elect tabernacle of David, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, this article right here pretty much exposes how depraved this devil truly is. All right, and um, this is from uh, Summit.News. It says, USA Today which is another major news outlet, hastily deletes tweets about science proving pedophilia is determined in the womb. And uh, of all places, they would post that on the internet. When you know, you know, whatever content that you post on these, uh, you know, media platforms, it doesn't matter if you delete it, it'll never be erased because the internet is... is is forever all right so you know they pretty much expose themselves with this all right and uh for years this devil has been trying to rationalize why it's no harm to conduct in sexual relations with a with a minor or somebody that's um prepubescent all right somebody that's that you know that's not de uh, fully developed um, someone that has not reached sexual maturity or uh, sexual reproductive stages. Esau always tried to come up with some type of justification, you know, to incite the idea that there's no harm in adults having sexual relations with underage or underdeveloped children. And that shows how sick this devil is. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with that guy, Alfred Kinsey. You know, uh, brothers, you know, mentioned him in, in previous lessons, you know, in, in, in you know, years ago in certain uh, lessons that they've done. But if you, you know, research on this guy, you know, he was the main dude who sparked that idea of, you know, um, sexuality in minors. All right, and uh, I think they coined him the, the the pioneer of sex research. You know, he's the one that funded you know sexual revolution. All right, he's just basically overall uh, sexual deviancy and using science to justify it. All right, this devil, his science is his own belly, man, his own lust. All right, and this is who's in power. All right, when like it says in Psalms tw twelve and eight. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest man is exalted. All right. So, you know, it's prevalent all through all Hollywood. You know, they put, you know, bits and pieces of it in your entertainment. You know, they put it subtly in your cartoons that your children have to watch, you know, trying to, um, you know, mind control your children and get them conditioned to that type of uh, behavior. It's all wickedness, man. And that's why the Lord, you know, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to answer to the Lord's going to address all this, man, in, in, in a day of judgment. Uh, we got to get the hell up out of here. But anyway, it says right here, it says USA Today hastily deleted a series of tweets, which critics said were tantamount to the normalization of pedophilia after the newspaper cited science to assert that pedophilia was determined in the womb. All right, you don't you you don't know anything when you're in the womb. Okay. And the scriptures tell you that. Let me let me go to it real quick. And this challenges Esau's you know total argument. Let's go to James one and uh, twelve. James 1 verse 12, it says, Blesses the man that endureth temptation, but when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and is and enticed. And this is dealing with men. This isn't dealing with little children. All right, that behavior comes from 
your own lust. All right. Which is basically it's a, it's a demon that's on you. All right. And you're being pulled away into it, being consumed in your lust. It says then when lust have conceived, it bring forth sin and sin. When it is finished, bring forth death. So you so burn in your lust that, you know, you make the basically the act becomes uh, brought forth because you put your hands to it. You basically did the act and now that you didn't did the act. You didn't committed a sin, which is worthy of death. All right. And that comes from your own lust. Vile passion, man. So anyway, you know, they're trying to use their science, which is basically false. All right, falsely so-called. There's no way to justify that kind of behavior, but only the devil, because that's who he is in his nature. The scriptures tell you about E. Let's go to Hebrews 12 and 16. This is dealing with this man's character. This is their forefather, right? Hebrews 12 and 16, it says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who from one more saw of meat sold his birthright. All right, so he, he was all about his flesh, pleasing his flesh, that he didn't even care for the birthright. It says, For you know how that afterward, when he would have re, uh, inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance Though he saw it carefully with tears. <clears throat> now let's go, uh, go real quick to the other uh, translations. And let's read uh, the NLT. It says, make sure that no one is immoral or godless like Esau, who traded his birthright as the firstborn son for a single meal. NIV translation, see that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau. Who for a morsel, a single uh, meal, sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. All right. You know, so Esau, he's sexually immoral. And he's definitely godless, man. The most is not dealing with him. Okay, he's very ungodly. So, of course, this man would justify such ungodly behavior, conduct. So it says, uh, well, this is awkward. The tweet that caused most of the backlash asserted in recent decades, the science on pedophilia has improved. One of the most significant findings is that pedophilia is likely determined in the womb, though environmental factors may influence whether some someone acts on, a, on, a, on an urge to abuse. I mean, there is some truth to it. You know, when you're young and you're getting uh, molested, you know, it's like, the, the, and you're in a stage of, um, you know, mental development, man. So you're still innocent. And uh, before you know it, you know, that type of behavior can open you up to that unclean uh, 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 practice. And it can ruin your, 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 your mindset, your mentality, man. So, yeah, certain uh, pedos, they've been molested. That's That's true. But this is not something that you're born with. All right. And this is uh, the tweets, you know, people have to capture it. All right. They tried to, you know, before they tried to delete it, you know, people went on and they made sure to uh, screenshot these, man. All right. Yeah, you, you, you devils ain't going to escape, man. All right. All your, your wickedness is going to get exposed. It says, uh. And this is the, what the tweet said. It said in uh, decades, the science on pedophilia has improved. One of the most significant findings is that pedof pedophilia is likely determined in the womb, though environmental factors may influence whether someone acts on an urge to abuse. And then it says, within hours, however, the entire tweet thread had been removed and a new tweet posted, which said a previous thread did not include all information the story is written about is behind a paywall. We made the decision to delete the thread. Well, hey, it's still there because uh, 
You know, people captured it, and now I'm reading about it. It's on its own articles. All right, it says, thankfully, the internet is forever, and people had already saved screenshots of the original thread. And you go into it, man. It's, it's pretty sick, man. All right, it says, uh, the original thread and article discussed how there was a misunderstanding about what a pedophile is and that not all pedophiles abuse kids, huh? What? See how these devils uh, try to justify it, man? The thread symp sympathize with pedos in relieving them of responsibility of their actions. Pedophiles may not have control over the fact that they are attracted to kids, said the original tweet, which called for more treatment and therapy. They're really trying to sympathize with, with these demons, man. Woe to you that call. Let me go to that. Only the devil, man. <clears throat> Isaiah 5 verse 20 it says Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil That put darkness for light and light for darkness That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter Alright that, that's, that's, that's off Okay There's no way you can spin or justify this <clears throat> but this, we in a world where everything is uh, about being politically correct, man. You don't want to offend no one, no no matter what uh, life choices they make, the lifestyle that they live, their belief system. You know, it's not about morality anymore. It's, it's, it's about being politically correct. This is a wicked way out society, man. It says the evidence suggests it's inborn neurological, according to sex researcher and expert on pedophilia, James Canton. So I guess he's one of uh, the disciples of Alfred Kinsey then. All right. Preaching the same poison. Come on, man. It says this conveniently counters other evidence that suggests pedophilia and other aberrant sexual lifestyles are actually caused by child abuse. The normalization of pedophilia has long been a goal of the entertainment and media establishment, as clearly indicated by the massive rush to defend the 2020 movie Cuties, which was basically soft porn for nonces. Yeah, I remember that, man. And it wasn't as big of an uproar, you know, uh, with that particular uh, movie on Netflix as the uproar for uh, Dave Chappelle. You know, when, when, when he did uh, what's uh, special that was, when he basically was talking about the the Transformers, you know, they had protests out there, man. That made no sense. But only under this society, man, where things are, you know, turned upside down, they call evil good and good evil. That's why we got to get the hell up out of here, man. All right, hey, the scriptures say that, you know, wickedness, Iniquity shall be increased. All right. Hey, the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt. Okay. It's, a, it's, it's totally perverse. A confusing spirit, man. It says if they can socially re-engineer people to embrace normal uh, relative to relative, it's like your relativism. To such a degree that child molestation becomes acceptable, they can then uh, legitimize literally anything. And that's what, and we've been saying for years that there's an invisible or a camouflage P at the end of that LGBTQ man. You know, and y'all and y'all already know what that P stands for. They've been trying to you know wiggle their way around it for so long. All right. I mean, you th th these world leaders and, and super rich, they all indulge in it. Your, your, your Catholic priest and, 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 and cardinals, your pope, all your movie directors, all your, your, your entertainers. This is how they get down. One of them actually just dropped dead. 
You know, he took the the the, the boozy and was, and was out of there. But a lot of a lot of information came out on that guy. You know, you had those are uh, uh, roast where they have these different uh you know celebrities and comedians. They come on and start roasting a particular uh, actor or comedian, and there was nothing but pedophilia jokes coming out. So obviously, it's how they get down in, in in Hollywood, but it's not just in Hollywood. It happens behind the, the curtains, dealing with your elected officials, all the people that that makes your laws, your legislations, that that rule in the court system, your president. So. Ultimately, these type of things are done so that the Lord can expose to the world this devil's vileness, his his his, depra his depravity. Let's go to a Nahum three and verse uh, five. Nahum three verse five. It says, "Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will shew the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame." Constantly getting exposed. All right, making you naked. All right, it says, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile and will set thee as a gazing stock. You, you devils are a disgrace, man, especially the West. All right, because you're the main pusher of rebellion and wickedness in the planet. You're the enforcer, you're the overseer of it. This is all part of that wine that this devil transgresses by, man, to justify all manner of, of evil. <clears throat> this is uh, the NLT translation that says, I will cover you with filth and show the world how vile you really are. You, you, you're vile, man. All right. And you're going to be exposed. All right. The, hey, good thing they, you know, because this is the information age, the age of the Internet. Anything you put on there, whether you delete it or not, this people still going to have access to it. People going to screenshot it. They're going to record it. And it's going to be right there on the Web. And that's why Jay, uh, Jay was it uh, one of the Rockefellers. I think it was Jay Rockefeller that said it. The, the internet should have never been invented. Well, yeah, you know, because through the internet, you this is a this is a major uh, outlet to expose all your heinous crimes. So, you know, after you get exposed, the Lord's gonna just come down and press that wine press. Let me get a Joel three. And 13 And it says put ye in a sickle For the harvest is ripe Come get you down for the press is full The fats overflow for their wickedness Is great Because like, their, their, their wickedness Has exceedingly polluted the whole earth And their hurtful works are fulfilled So anyway You know I just want to uh, do a response To this uh, article right here and, uh, you know, show, you know, it's just more, you know, hey, man, <laughs> I don't know how much more that needs to get out to show that these are not normal people, man. <laughs> uh, these are literally the sons of the wicked, man. These, they're, they're, they're the border of wickedness, like the prophecy say it, say they are. You can't tell me different. All right. So anyway. Let me give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashmiel Shai to the next lesson. Shalom.